I'm Mia Roth. I'm from the Faculty of Architecture at the University of Zagreb and uh, also a practicing architect uh, and a member of EAAE's Education Academy, that is the European Association for Architectural Education. And um, I was very happy to be invited to this session on innovative pedagogies because uh, I'm a part of a process of workshops that have been going on for uh, several years now, which constantly try to answer the question of what the ethical and social and cultural responsibility of an architectural upbringing is. And this is a process that evolves through a series of workshops with other educators where we ask ourselves this question through many different facets and aspects and then simplify the answers and then base new workshops on these answers uh, and so on. But what I think is really important and what's uh, being done here and discussed here is a fundamental shift in architectural education, which does not imply um, the diminishing role of an architect uh, or the diminishing role of the importance of architectural education. On the contrary, it expands its boundaries, it's blur, it blurs the definitions of what architects do and can do and what their responsibility is. Um, and within education, I think that this fundamental shift uh, directs towards educating agency and constant questioning of why we do things and how we build things, uh, whether uh, building is necessary, um, and uh, also on the ethical aspects of the profession, because whichever aspect of architectural education we uh, discuss, we do always talk about spatial consequences. So even if a future architect will be working in a field which we don't consider as practice in the narrow sense, they will still work uh, in the production of space. So the ethical aspect of this, whether it is decision-making, planning, um, landscape architecture, whatever, outside of architecture, um, renewal uh, and so on, uh, it's still very much a, math, a matter of ethics and, and agency and um, this is the takeout from both uh, these days that was uh, mentioned in various forms uh, throughout the sessions, so I'm, I feel enriched by it. The current project that we're ending now called Architecture's Afterlife, it's a EU funded project that looks at uh, professional futures of architecture graduates and the skills that they use most uh, in their current professions. And it's uh, interesting that while the concrete skills, the vocational skills or the technical skills change so rapidly now that once entering practice one has to almost relearn them uh, every once in a while, the soft skills that they gain through architectural education uh, which can very broadly um, fall under uh, the notions of resilience, of cooperation, of communication, of um, ethics uh, and uh, self-representation, self-criticality and so on, are actually those that they felt they used most uh, or was the implicit consequence of their architectural upbringing. Um, and it is a question of how this can be reinforced and how certain behaviors can be educated, uh, which will then contribute to a more ethical spatial production.